Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at a new Bible from the Lachman Foundation. It's the NASB Wide Margin Reference Edition, but we're also going to be comparing it with its fancy cousin, the Striden from Schuyler Bibles. Okay, one of the latest new Bibles from the Lockman Foundation is this one right here, the Wide Margin Reference Bible. A lot of people have been talking about how much they like this Bible, that it looks great, it feels great. It comes in a couple of different options. This is the Genuine Leather Edition, but it also comes in a Synthetic Leather Edition they call Leather Text. But one of the things about, it's a great Bible all around, like great paper, great typesetting, all of that. But one of the things that a lot of people have noted about it is that it is the same typesetting as the premium Striden from Schuyler Bible. So the Striden is a single column, verse by verse reference Bible that Schuyler produced last year. It was designed by 2K Denmark. They initially released it in the NASB 2020, and they're also going to be releasing, I think the next one is the ESV. I expect them to continue to expand that line. I've reviewed this Bible, a really, really beautiful, big, thick, single column, verse by verse, reference Bible. Well, obviously, Schuyler has to work with the Lachman Foundation to produce the 2020 because Lachman owns the right to the 2020. So Lachman worked a deal with Schuyler where they said, okay, you guys release the Striden, but then we'd like to release the same text block in a not nothing premium. They're not going to do this in their prime collection, their premium Bibles, but they are offering more affordable editions, the leather, leather text, which is a synthetic leather, like I said, as well as this genuine leather. So Either one of those Bibles, this one's about $50. Um, the leather texts are gonna be just a little bit over $30. So a lot of people have been saying, wow, that's a really great Bible that has the same layout as a Schuyler with just some different features and different materials used, that sort of thing. So one of the things I wanted to do was do a full review of this Bible because I think it's awesome, but I also wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Striden so you can kind of see what you're getting. Obviously, the, Stri the Striden is, is a really, really top-of-the-line premium Bible. That's what Schuyler does. And I think you'll be able to see in this video the differences between the two. But this is a really great option, the Lachman Edition, and it's going to be significantly less expensive. So if you don't have the money to spend on a premium Bible like a Schuyler, this is a really, really great option for you. So I thought it would be fun to review this one, to do a comparison, one really fun video. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do an overhead now and show it to you before we dive in. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. This is the Lachman NASB Wide Margin Reference Bible. Okay, quick look at the box. NASB 2020 Wide Margin Reference Bible. Lovely design. They give you the specs of the Bible on the side there. Information about the translation on that side. Pretty simple two-piece box. I'm going to start with this one, and then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Striden. So this is the Genuine Leather Edition of the Wide Margin Reference Bible. It also comes in a synthetic leather, which they call Leather Tex at Lachman. So there you see the pebbly grain. No real embellishments or anything. It doesn't have a perimeter stitch or a tool line or anything. Pretty straightforward on the spine. Nothing raised or tooled, just these decorative lines here. You see it says Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible, Wide Margin Reference Bible, NASB, Lachman Foundation. Very, very soft and floppy, this Bible. It's got two ribbons. As well, it's got a Smithstone text block, which is why it's going to lay so open and flat and be so soft and floppy. I love the feel of it. Um, it does have some gold on the page edges. It does not have a die. Um, and on the inside, very, very clean, paste down liners. So uh, pretty straightforward and simple, but it feels great. And, it, and it's got a nice overall, it feels like it's got a good quality overall. Um, and the paper inside, as I'll talk about in a minute, is probably the, mo the, the thing I like the most about this Bible. But... Simple, straightforward. As far as size goes, this is going to be one of the differences between this and the Striden. It's slightly bigger um, as far as the trim size goes. It's six and a half inches wide and nine and a quarter inches tall, which is just a little bit bigger all the way around than the Striden. You'll see how that plays out on the inside. But as far as thickness goes, it's about the same. I measured this to be just at 1.6, a little bit right over one and a half inches thick, which is the same as the Striden. That's with uh, the cover on both of them. So I think that this text box is probably just a hair thicker than the Strident and then the Strident, but it's also 32 GSM paper compared to 28 GSM paper. So that would make sense. Now let's open this up. Intro there, presentation page is really straightforward. One of the things that would be my critique of, of Lockman and what they've done with their new Bibles is that this typeface that they're using, you see it here in the presentation page, and then you see it also on the spine of the Bible. 
I believe, I could be wrong, I believe that this is Calibri, which is like the standard typeface that comes with Microsoft Word and things like that. Um, and I just think that, I wish that they would go with a slightly different typeface that's a little bit, like so, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna bring this in early. Look at the spine here. Look at the Holy Bible, New American Standard. It just looks a little bit classier on the Striden, the typeface that they use. This looks a little bit, um, a little bit less classic, a little bit less something that I just want to reach and grab for. It's a little bit casual, I would say. Um, so I think that it is that Calibri typeface. So I'd love to see them kind of up their game in terms of that and these presentation pages, give it a, just a little bit more love and some design there. Um, so you have family, family records in here as well as your presentation page. Then you get into the text block and this is where it basically becomes the stride. And you see it's going to say, 2020 wide margin reference edition at the bottom published by the Lockman Foundation. But once we get in here, you see that it was designed by 2K Denmark. They printed these in Korea. It's on the same great 32 GSM paper that their prime editions come on, which is fantastic paper. So here you have the uh, forward, uh, the, sorry, table of contents, then the forward, all about this edition. It explains the format of the Bible, those sorts of things for the NASB 2020. And then you get into Old Testament, boom. There you go, look, this Bible lays wide open and flat it's thick so it kind of curves in there but single column verse by verse you get bold numbers for um, the new paragraphs you get the cross references and the textual footnotes down here at the bottom of the page there's a line that divides them don't worry i'll bring this up and show it to you in a moment you get a wide margin i mean it's really really nice like a beautiful layout that looks really great it's it's line matched um, it's just it's just a really strong uh, a strong text block. If I open this up a little bit and kind of show it to you here in the center of the, the, the frame here, just really, really nice. It's the cross references on the inside, the textual footnotes on the outside. It's the same text block, same page numbers as everything in the Striden. Um, it's got a 10 point typeface. Um, sorry, it's the same typesetting. It's not the same layout. Like I said, the, the wide margins are a little bit wider in this one because the pages are a little bit bigger. That's why I think they're calling it the wide margin reference Bible. The Skylar still has those, but this um, does that. It also it doesn't have red accents on the page. It's just black letter throughout. That's one difference. But this paper looks great. It feels great. Um, you, you partner the 32 GSM paper that's opaque with the line matched uh, typesetting, and it's a really easy Bible to read. Um, I think it's 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 really really nice, and so you see you can hear that maybe on the camera. I'm not sure if you can. Some of the pages stick together a little bit, and you, the more you use it, um, they will stop doing that. But it goes straight throughout black letter text. It, it kind of stays very very consistent. Um, this Bible has different things in the back of it, so I'm going to show you that, and then I'll do the comparison. So you get to the end of Revelation. So this is an 1800 page Bible. Right here, it ends on page 1800. In this Bible, you're going to get the topical index of the Bible versus a concordance, a different one in the uh, Striden. At the end of the topical index, we add in a couple of other extra things in this Bible. So they're going to give us book introductions to each book of the Bible. So there's your book intros, a few pages of book intros back here. They're going to give us some charts that have the miracles of Jesus uh, side by side, parables of Jesus on one side, Miracles of Jesus here, and then the Bible maps back here from Lachman. Full color Bible maps on a slightly thicker, glossier paper. So, a great Bible. Again, this one, the genuine leather, they have it priced a little bit over $50. The leather text version, which is the same on the inside, just a different cover, is going to be a little over $30. So, so those are fantastic prices for these Bibles. Really, really great quality. And the idea here was they were they were saying to Skylar, we're going to produce the, the more affordable editions of this Bible and not do something premium. So now I'm going to bring this in. So you get Skylar side by side. If you've seen my videos of Skylar, if you've ever been able to hold one in your hands, you know that they are top of the line, super gorgeous goatskin and calfskin Bibles. This is their dark green goatskin. Extra things in here, like you're going to get a perimeter stitch, you're going to get raised spine hubs, you're going to get that beautiful gold stamping on there, some beautiful ribbons. Yes, this Bible is going to be an edge-lined Bible, so it's uh, the construction is one of the things that's going to be one of the biggest differences between them. You're going to get these gold accents, they do red under gold art gilding. 
versus the other one you remember didn't have anything on it. So there's some aesthetic qualities on the outside of the Bible that are going to be definitely a level up in terms of materials and the, the quality of the construction. I think this is a really beautifully well done constructed Bible, but it's a paste down Bible. So it's gonna be, it's a more expensive build to build the edge line construction, um, that sort of thing. Also, as I noted, that they're gonna be slightly different size. So I'm gonna spin this around. You can barely tell that that one's just a hair taller up there, and then it's a little bit wider. So if I open this up, I'm gonna find them to the same page. I got my marker in here. So I'm going to 1 Samuel in both of these Bibles. So now we can see side by side. The, um, the, the Lockman for me lays a little bit flatter than the Skylar, which is again, the edge line construction. There's more going on down here at the spine. So that's probably the reason for that. But I'm gonna pull this in here so you have page on page. No, I didn't get to the same. I pulled the wrong page, sorry. I'm gonna go right here. So here we have the same page in both Bibles. Now, you're gonna notice a couple things. Same size, pretty much the same thing. This one's a hair bit taller. You notice right here, that this is 1.25 inches, where this is just under an inch on the Skylar, so it's a little bit wider margin on the Wide Margin Reference Bible from Lachman. You're also gonna notice that it doesn't have the red accents. So for Skylar, you get red accents all over the page, the headers, the section headers, the page numbers, even down here on the cross references, the verse numbers are all red. I would give Skylar the advantage on that because I really like the two-tone look and feel uh, of everything on the page. So that looks really nice. You also, I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna bring it up for you. You're going 32 GSM paper on the right and 28 GSM paper on the left. Now, not all paper is created equal. The Skylar uses a very expensive, very premium French paper, whereas Lachman is using, I believe it's, the printer in Korea is sourcing their paper, so I'm assuming that it's from Korea as well. It feels great, it looks great, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, but to my eye, the Lachman's 32 GSM paper is more opaque than Skylar's. I will notice if you look at the, the spaces in between the lines, I'm seeing a little bit less bleed through. Now I say that and I also go, as I look from one to the other, I don't find the Lachman necessarily easier to read. A lot of people talk about paper. I've actually been doing some research on Bible paper and people think, well, just because it's a higher number GSM, it's better. That, that's not necessarily true. I don't find the, um, the Skylar more difficult to read based simply on the, on the paper. I do think that the paper is a little bit more opaque here, but as far as readability, legibility, I would actually argue that over here, when I see the red accents on the page, it actually helps my eye focus a little bit more. So again, there, there's just, uh, there, there's some, some differences, but they're not, not everything's created equal, so it's hard to kind of compare them one to one, but both are really great. I would say uh, for me, and then if you look at the back of the Skylar, you're getting um, a concordance, you're not getting the intros, and you're getting Skylar's Bible maps back here. So you get some different material at the end of the Bible, but you're getting the exact same typesetting done by 2K Denmark, the same cross-references, the same textual footnotes. You get all 95,000 95, plus cross-references. You get the full set of NASB translator notes, in both, translator notes in both of these Bibles. So you're getting a lot of content. Um, I would say for the price, the, the Lachman is a fantastic Bible, but you can see why a Schuyler Bible is to the next level because of all of the expensive materials they're using, the French paper, the binding style, all of the different embellishments and accents and things like that. And then the red accents on the page, stuff like that. I think that that even stuff, like I said earlier, the just the attention to detail on the spine, just like a kind of classier overall look and feel for me, it's great Bibles. I think about this. You could have four of these for the cost of one of these. But if you've ever held a Schuyler, you know that they are just super, super special. And so there's enough differences in these Bibles as far as um, the, the paper, as far as... I would say I, I give this, the, the Lachman, the edge is in terms of um, obviously price, uh, paper quality, um, I, I think that this is just a little bit more opaque and it feels really good and you don't have to pay the extreme price for it. And I love the extra space in the wide margins and I love how flat it lays. I think it's a really nice, soft, floppy, flat Bible. Um, I would give Skylar the edge when it comes to all of the bells and whistles, just the overall construction quality, the, the attention to detail. If you're looking for, if you say, hey, this is going to be my number one Bible, but I want it to be super premium and excellent. Everything about this is is just 
really well done. I particularly like, as I mentioned, the red accents on the page, that sort of stuff. But So they're, they're, they're the same Bible, but they're different Bibles. Does that make sense? And I, for one, I think my biggest takeaway from this is I really like that this is out there. I really like that I know that everybody can't buy a top-of-the-line premium $200 plus Schuyler Bible. I get that. And so it's cool that they've um, partnered with Lockman to do a version of this Bible that is a little bit more accessible and yet still a really great quality. You can see there's a lot of reasons why you would want to pay more for this one because they've just kind of leveled it up, kind of like a rebinder would level something up. But uh, this is a great Bible as well. So really cool option from, from Lockman and neat to see it side by side with what Schuyler's doing. So there you have it, a closer look at the NASB Wide Margin Reference Bible from Lockman, plus a side-by-side -side comparison with the Schuyler Striden. Now, the question of the video has to be pretty simple. Which one of these would you choose and why? Which one of these Bibles really speaks to you? Is it the affordability of the Wide Margin Reference Bible and that great paper that's in there, or do you want to go to the next level and get the Striden? I would love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Let me know which one you prefer and why. Also, leave me a comment if you have a question about either one of these Bibles. I'll put some links in the video description to my review of the Striden. I'll also put some links to where you can purchase these Bibles online, but if you have some follow-up questions, please drop those in the comments and I'll get back to you with an answer. I love to do that. I love to help answer your questions because I want to help you find a Bible that's right for you. That's what I'm all about here at Bible Review Blog. Now, I'm also going to post some photos of these on Instagram and Facebook, so please find me on social media if you're not following along, just at Bible Review Blog. And definitely before you go, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. This was so much fun. I love these Bibles. Great job by Logman, obviously a great job by Skyler as well. A lot of fun to make this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.